Hey guys, sorry, what was that? Tell them don't photocopy your ass and tits at the office Christmas party. Really? Oh man, I wish you told me that years ago. <laughs> but seriously, don't do it. I think it might be illegal. Hey guys, I've done it. I've gone and put on an office work shirt as today we're going to be talking about careers. I'm going to share with you career advice that I've been given over the last 20 years that I really wish someone had just given to me all in one go in my early 20s as it would have been invaluable. This is 20 years of career advice in much less than 20 minutes so make sure you watch this whole video until the end. And even if you're in your late 20s or early 30s all this advice that was given to me still applies. It's never too late to start applying any of these tips that I was given to your work life. If you get any value out of this video or learn any new tips that you hadn't ever heard of before or if you've done something regrettable at a work function or work Christmas party then please tap that thumbs up button below and give this video a like as it really helps out the video with the almighty YouTube algorithm and it tells YouTube to share this video with others who might hopefully find it helpful and I just want to help as many people as possible. Cheers! Before you start your career do a careers quiz. I'll leave a link to the best one I found in the description below but if you found a better careers quiz let us know in the comments below. Make sure you're actually interested in and passionate about your chosen occupation because you might end up spending the majority of your life doing it. Decide what your ultimate career end goal is. Is it to be a CEO? Is it to be an expert in a certain field? You need to decide ultimately what you want to be and consider how much you want to get paid eventually and what your desired lifestyle is. Can you actually achieve your desired income from your chosen occupation? And also, you need to figure out roughly what path you need to take and what you need to learn along the way in the form of additional studies to achieve your ultimate career end goal. Each job is a stepping stone to the next job. Don't think of your current job as the final destination. Always have an idea what you want to get out of your new job and what the next job you want to move into is. Don't be afraid to sidestep. Moving laterally allows you to see your chosen profession from a fresh perspective and learn much more about your industry as a whole. Company loyalty is a myth. Gone are the days when working for the same company for 40 years is seen as a good thing. Sometimes people can get lucky and stick with the same company for their whole career and work their way up the corporate ladder while being rewarded financially along the way, but that's pretty rare. Realistically, most people are just a number. Don't be mistaken, they will make you redundant without a second thought if it's best for the business. The only thing you must be loyal to is your professionalism, work ethic, and your personal brand. Know when to move. If you're not continuously learning and growing, and let's be honest, being financially rewarded after say a few years at your current company then maybe consider moving to another one. Maybe into a higher paid position that can actually offer you new opportunities to learn and grow. You are your personal brand. How people perceive you will have a huge effect on the outcome of your career. Your professionalism, your appearance, your energy, your attitude, your people skills, Honesty, work ethic, achievements, knowledgeability, and punctuality are all key components to your personal brand. Talking of punctuality, there is no such thing as on time. You're either early or you're late. <laughs> I can't even remember who told me that or where I heard it, but that is fantastic advice. And honestly, I really wish I'd heard it sooner. This next piece of advice is pretty to the point, but you are your job. Aside from your personal brand, between nine and five or whatever your work hours are, you are your job. You are the thing you've been employed to do. Switch off your personal life. Put away your phone and concentrate on being the best at the thing you're being paid to do. If you're a teacher, be the best teacher. If you're an accounts assistant, be the best accounts assistant. If you're a carpenter, be the best carpenter. That said, be the expert. Be the expert at your job. Learn everything you can about it. Be the person that everyone turns to for advice, for help, and to fix a problem. To do this, you need to continuously upskill 
in your own time and never stop learning. This is why it's so important to do something you're actually passionate about or at least you're interested in. Otherwise, trying to learn more about something you absolutely hate in your spare time is gonna be next to impossible. I know I wouldn't do it. So where do you learn new skills? Well, if you're in a creative field, then why not check out Skillshare? There's a link in the description below where you can get 30% off your first annual subscription. And there's also a link for a 14 day free trial if you just wanna check it out risk free. Coursera and Allison are great if you're looking for higher education courses. Coursera have 1,000 free university courses that you can try out and all courses on Allison are free, but you will need to pay for a certificate if you require one. LinkedIn Learning is popular amongst the corporate world and offers subscription plans for team learning for business, so speak to your manager about that one. There are a lot of online education options out there. I'll put links to all these in the description below. Another thing to learn is be sensible on social media. Be careful what you put and say on social media and who has access to your social media accounts. You need to be aware that posting offensive content on your social media, your personal social media accounts, can damage your professional brand image and in some cases, cost you your job. And remember, as much as you work on your personal brand, not everyone is gonna like you. But hopefully, if you retain a strong work ethic, they will respect you. Sometimes you might get a problem boss or colleague. David Goggins gives a great way to deal with this in his book, Can't Hurt Me. Get in your colleagues or bosses' heads by being the best at your job. Get into work earlier, leave later, work harder, work smarter, be more knowledgeable, be better at your job than anyone else. Now that probably won't change their stink attitude, but you'll get in their head and you'll be in their head even when they go home. Don't get emotionally attached. Stay emotionally intelligent at all times. It's only natural to get emotionally invested in something that you're spending a lot of your life doing and working on, but don't allow yourself to become overcome with negative emotions and get stressed. It's just business. You can't change the fundamentals of a company. This is one that I fell foul to for many years and it was painful. I was trapped in a job where I just wanted things to be so much better for me and all my colleagues, but management would not listen and would not do a damn thing to make the work environment better. If you're at a low level, you can't change the whole company. You can't change the processes, you can't change the management style, especially not middle management. You can't change the culture. Most of the time, you just can't change or improve your work environment, but what you can do is change and improve yourself, and then you can move to a better environment. You can upskill and look for a new job elsewhere. As important as work life is, so is your personal life. So take your holidays and switch off. You have to give your mind a rest from work. Switch off at the weekends, switch off in the evenings. Work is work, rest is rest. Bullying, now this can be a really serious issue in the workplace. I know I've been bullied in jobs before and it was a nightmare. I'll leave links to some resources on how to actually deal with this properly in the description below. Now this is hugely important in any industry. Networking is hugely important. Get to know the people in your industry at every level, inside your organization and outside of your organization. Knowing a lot of people is a good thing, but avoid office politics like the plague. Be in the know, know what's going on around you, but do not get caught up in the politics or the pointless gossip. Listen, but don't contribute. This is not high school, it's not worth your time. You're now above all that. Find a mentor, preferably someone who has already achieved the goal that you're aiming for already. Their advice will be invaluable. Maybe it's someone in upper management position, but preferably an expert or the CEO level. Someone who has actually reached the pinnacle in their field. Invite them for a coffee. No, you're not trying to date them. You're just asking them for a coffee so you can sit down with them and ask them a load of questions. Find out how they got to where they are now. You know, what was their journey? Where did they start and how did they climb the ladder? I actually did this and for a time it really helped out my career until I didn't heed the next piece of advice, which is never burn your bridges. This means never ruining your professional relationships with people. It's always good to leave a job to move on to the next exciting thing, but never burn your bridges on the way out the door as you never know if you will ever work with those people again. Stay professional, stay humble and grow your network. Never burn it down. Tell people you have a ladder. 
Here's an analogy for you. You have this wonderful, strong and sturdy ladder. You're very proud of this ladder. You would like other people to compliment your ladder and use it if need. But you haven't told anyone you've got it and no one knows you have this ladder. There could be five or 10 people all around you right now that need a ladder, but they don't know you've got one because you haven't told anyone. So they're never going to ask you. The meaning of this analogy is if you want to move on to bigger and better things in life, you need to let people in your network on in higher positions, manager circles and CEO circles know that. Eventually someone that has spoken to you might need a ladder and they'll immediately think of you and give you a call. It happened to me once. Try to save 10% of every paycheck for a time that you might want to change careers and maybe you might need to take a pay cut or if you need to pay for an online course to learn a new skill. If you feel trapped in a job, occupation or on a career path you hate, it could be your undoing and I know that from personal experience. If you have a financial safety net and have built up a runway of three to six months of savings to cover all of your outgoings, that will give you the freedom to do what you need to do to change jobs, change careers, retrain or whatever it might be. Get enough sleep every single night. Getting enough good quality sleep every single night is vital in order to de-stress, re-energize, retain new information and remain focused throughout your workday. Now you may think that coffee is the be all and end all and the answer to everything, but all you're doing really is delaying and masking the negative effects of the sleep deprivation. Get better sleep. And it's important to remember, it's never too late to change careers. You're not locked in. It's true, it's never too late to start. If you're already in a job that you don't like or you're on a career path that you're bored of or you hate, it's never too late to change things up, learn new skills and work towards your ultimate career end goal. If you do get to the point where you want to start over, then start saving up your financial safety net and go back to the research phase that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So what do you think of the advice that I've been given over the years? Have you received any of the same advice? Has anyone shared any excellent career advice with you that I actually haven't included in this video or mentioned here? If so, pop that advice in the comments below as I would love to know and share it with everyone. I do have a few extra points. However, I'm not going to put them in this video. I'm saving those for a video on the essential skills that you need to learn in your 20s. If you're new to this channel, I set myself a 950 day challenge to improve life in every way, health, wealth, skills, knowledge, and mindset, the four fundamentals of life as I see it. And I'm sharing everything I learn with you guys so you can jumpstart your own life improvements too. Again, if you got some value out of this video, make sure you hit that cheeky like button below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and click on that notification bell to make sure that you're notified every time I post a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and as always if there's something that you want to do to improve your life then get it started, get it done. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.